When you are out exploring the world, how do you figure out where you are? Traditional navigation uses landmarks to give you reference directions, northwest and north by northwest for this explorer. A detailed map shows your landmarks, as well as places you might like to be, as well as dangers to avoid. Anyone can see the landmarks along the same directions you did, but there's only one place on the map where both landmarks are in the correct direction. That intersection is your location. This is called triangulation. Today, many of us carry a device in our pocket with computer-aided navigation and built-in maps to show you where you are and where you're going. These systems use a technology known as Global Positioning System or GPS. The GPS system is based on a constellation of 32 satellites orbiting the Earth. When you're navigating, your phone receives signals from many of these satellites at one time. What signal are the satellites sending? They're all broadcasting time signals at exactly the same moment. Your phone receives those times and compares them to figure out how far you are from each satellite. Your phone reads the same time from two satellites at different moments. Signals from a close satellite arrive sooner than signals from a farther satellite. This allows you to triangulate your position. How accurate does the timing have to be? The satellite signals travel at the speed of light, which travels about one foot every one billionth of a second. For every billionth of a second the timing is off, your position will be wrong by about one foot. Remember that general relativity tells us the Earth sits at the bottom of a gravitational well, a warp dimple it creates in space-time. Our GPS satellites sit high up in the well, where space-time is less warped. The Earth warps time such that a clock on Earth ticks slower than a clock on the GPS satellite. How much slower? About one billionth of a second slower for every two seconds that passes. On a 30-minute walk, not using general relativity will result in a navigational error of 260 meters by the end of your trip. Einstein is in your pocket with you every day and you didn't even know it.